25,000 Kaiser Permanente employees are on a three-day strike across California and other states demanding better pay and better working conditions. Fox 11's Phil Schumann live for us in Hollywood. Phil, a big question. Can patients still come to the hospital in the emergency room? The answer is yes, uh, Alex and Christine. Uh, here on the sidewalk, uh, 90 degree temperatures in a day that began at 6 a.m. as a result of the pickets being called off for this afternoon. Negotiations continue, in, continued into today, unsuccessful. Uh, the company says the key issue is wages, but from those I spoke with out here on the picket lines, it seems they're more concerned about staffing levels. <laughs> They are licensed vocational nurses, x-ray techs, emergency room aides, housekeepers, and so many others. Instead of taking care of patients, they are taking care of business. We want to be heard and we want to be seen. Layla Hamida is a respiratory therapist. I do believe that everyone here comes to work ready to take care of their patients, but when you're short-staffed, you do your best and you have to triage. Stand up, fight back. Jessica Cruz is an LVN. Can you afford to walk out? I don't think it's a matter if we can't afford, afford it. Um, this is a sacrifice we're all willing to make. The main issues have been staffing levels, outsourcing of some procedures, and salaries. The hospitals, meantime, remain open during the strike, temps filling in, some elective procedures postponed. Joan Weber, who's picking up her husband after heart surgery, hasn't had any issues. Nothing has changed for him, and um, the care couldn't be any better. So nothing was disrupted? There's no problem with his discharge? Nope. Tell him what do you do? Faye Alcantar is a caregiver bringing in a patient. Sometimes we're going to wait about one hour before the procedure. But they're still keeping the, the schedule? Yeah. Just maybe a little delay? Yeah. Oakland-based Kaiser Permanente has 39 hospitals in California alone. The company reported profits of more than $3 billion in the first six months of 2023. The regional president summarizing part of the offer. It's actually 12.5% to 16% over the term of the contract. Michelle gaskill Hames tells Fox 11 that deal will, in her words, keep Kaiser Permanente the employer of choice. Well, there's an affordability crisis in healthcare. And so it's our responsibility to make sure that we're good stewards of our members' dollars and that we remain affordable. Back live, the aftermath of day one of what's been described as the largest health care strike in the history of the country, Alex and Christine. And it's interesting strategy in that they've announced in advance that this is simply a three-day strike, whether there's a settlement or not. More from the striking health care workers and hospital workers tonight at 6. Live in Hollywood, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.